Okay, in this video, we're going to create, it's going to be a short video, we're going to create one uh, about using, creating, and managing watch lists in Thinkorswim Mobile. If you don't have Thinkorswim Mobile, you can get it for iOS at the App Store and Android at Google Play. I'm using an iPad for this video just because of the real estate space is bigger, but it works the same way on your phones. And I, the iOS and Android are very similar in functionality. So we'll start by opening the Thinkorswim. And let's go to the dashboard real quick. And this is typically what you'll see on the dashboard is your position statement and news and whatnot in the middle. And your watch list will be to the right. And if for some reason you don't see your watch list and it's like this, just tap the little whatever that is there and just kind of drag it out you can drag it out you can resize it like that so you can only have one watch list at a time displaying but you can have multiple watch lists you just have to switch between them okay so now let's let's say we want to edit a watch list let's uh, go to the YouTube one here and we're going to edit it and we're going to delete this watch list and start over. Okay, so let's go back to the dashboard. And we're going to select the watch list drop down. We're going to create a new watch list. We're going to name this one YouTube watch list. Click the next button. We're going to add a symbol. Let's say Google. Click my done button. We're going to, let's say, add Apple. Done there. Let's say add Ulta. And instead of clicking the done button, we're just going to click the green button. It adds that way. And let's just add into it. Now, just point out one thing for add into it. If you click the green button and you go to add another one, you actually have to backspace out of the original one. If you click the done button on your keyboard, it will clear it for you. So that's just a little tip so you don't have to go start typing things twice. So I-N-T-U. And done. So you have a hamburger menus next to your symbols. that You can rearrange the order using this. So let's move Apple to the top. And we'll move Google right under it. And then we got into it and altered us alphabetically. We're done there. And you notice it shows up right there. And of course, you can switch to another one and go back to the original one. And if you want to edit it, you simply click on the two arrows. And then you click on the edit button, upper right. And let's say we want to get rid of one. You just click on the little red circle, click delete, click done. And then click the double arrows again to go back to your dashboard. And there you go. You have to have a watch list or you have to type a symbol to place a trade. And you'll notice that your charts come up, news, the ability to trade options from an options table comes up. We'll get in a place in trades uh, in another video. But you got your portfolio information, your depth. You get you access what I'm trying to get is you access all this through your symbols on your watch list or through the symbol search. That's about it for these watch lists. So if you got something from this, how about subscribing? I could use some subscribers. Uh, leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know something you want to know about Thinkorswim Mobile. And I'll make a video about it. Have a good day.